Welcome to the Practicing Designer tutorial series. In this module, we'll cover the base. If you have not seen the first video, I urge you to take a look at the first tutorial video that talks about the tool, introduce the user interface, and the editing capabilities. So one of the interesting customization capabilities is for you to change how your bay looks like or how, vis how your stage looks visually uh, before you actually simulate them or print them out uh, in for your stage briefing. So in order to do that, you hit escape to go to the main menu and click change bay. And you will see a bunch of things here. First, on the left hand side, you see that you have uh, different types of presets. So the system comes with three presets, a square bay, a narrow bay, and a wide bay. As you can see, if I go back out, you see that this is the wide bay. It looks like that. If I, and it's approximately uh, 30 meters by 15 meters. If I do a narrow, it will be 15 by 30. And the standard bay size, a square size is 30 by 30. Uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, if you want to create your own designs, you have to click on plus to add a preset. So if I click on plus, it creates a preset with a random name. If I, if I don't like this random name, I can just edit the preset name here and say this is uh, first preset or whatever you want to name it, right? And here you can then change your dimensions of your bay. You can also change the wall textures and the ground textures. So by default, it's hedge and grass. Uh, here now you have a selection of different types of wall textures. So let's say if I want a concrete wall and I want to have a concrete floor, you now when I click on that, you see that now your design, your bay design has changed. Uh, so there are a lot of different options here. Let's say if I want this to be on a beach instead and maybe uses a uh, black wall for instance you can do oh, sorry a black ground texture with a concrete wall I can go I can change the wall texture to maybe dry grass for instance, like that all right so it's all up to you and some of these floor textures have grids uh, as you if you've seen in the in the default grass texture it will show you a one meter by one meter square for you to very easily and quickly measure and design your stage this way what else can you do? Uh, so if you go over to change bay, um, you can also change the dimension. So if you know the dimensions of your bay, let's say whether in meters or feet, let's say if I want this to be a 50 foot wide by 50, I can just type in 50 and 50. And now the bay will automatically change to 50 by 50. And also by default, the front walls are removed uh, because most of the time this represents your berm, right? But if you want to have it uh, show up, uh, you can easily go to change bay and click show front walls. And now you have a full enclosure that looks like that. But most of the time, uh, users will want the front walls uh, empty anyway. And then I can very easily switch between presets. Let's say if I want to go back to square and now I'm back in square again uh, and so forth. The other thing that you'll notice is uh, this list will increase as you download or uh, get stages from other designers who already have designed their bay dimensions. And this will create additional presets. And if you don't like that preset, you can just go select it and hit minus and this will remove the preset uh, from your system. Another very cool thing is this middle section here that allows you to basically draw the design of the bay. So first create a preset. Choose whatever name you want, select your wall texture, and use this control points to move your bay around. So let's say if my bay is some kind of weird L-shaped bay. So basically, like it looks like seven. And how do I draw that? All I have to do is just take the control points and move it out like that. Move it out like that, maybe. Move it out like that. There we go. So now when you hit apply, you see that the base have now changed to an L-shape. So this allows you to draw your bay design in any form you want, hopefully to match the kind of berms and the bay layout that you have in your range that you're designing this stage for. Another very powerful feature is this ability called scan bays. Scan bays are very interesting. They are essentially scanned using LiDAR. Uh, so basically somebody will go out into the range with a LiDAR scanner, whether it's a professional grade LiDAR scanner or one that's built into the latest Android or iPhone 13 and 14 Pros and scan the bay and we can insert that as a scan bay within the system. So in order to enable it, just click enable scan bay. 
Practicing designer comes preloaded with scan base from eight different ranges. So some of these ranges are from Oregon. Most of these are from my home section in Washington State, Paul Bunyan, Renton, Interlake, Marysville, Snoqualmie Valley, and more. So let's say if you want to uh, load up one of the bays from Paul Bunyan, for instance, down in Puyallup, you can select the different types of bays. Just to show you, uh, I'll show you bay one and I click apply. And you can see a scan bay results in really highly accurate representation of what your range will look like down to the textures itself and what's really cool is you can design stages using practice Sim designer to be almost pixel accurate to your actual bay so if you position a barrel here and when you print this layout out when they construct the bay it will look almost the same like it will minimize the amount of time you have to readjust your stage design based on what's printed versus what's actually on the ground. One of the great examples was we were trying to fit one of the USPSA classifiers in one of our bays and it was hard to determine if that classifier could fit. And what the stage designers did was they loaded up the tool, loaded up that bay and start designing this, the, the stage and then rotate it around and very quickly figure out a way to make it fit. And when they actually built the stage, there were only minor modifications to that stage design and everything worked perfectly. So this is one of the benefits of using the practice sim designer scan bay feature. That said, getting a scan bay into the system is pretty hard. Obviously, if you want some of your clubs to have your scan base, you can come to our Discord server and reach out to me and I will be able to talk, walk you through the process and maybe work together to find a way to get your club's base scanned and uploaded into the tool. So that's it for the bay customization. Next thing is weather and lighting. So if you hit escape, you go over to change sky. Here you have, and if you look at the left, you have some controls to control what kind of day, uh, what kind of lighting you want for your stage design. Uh, you can also animate it to make it actually react and, and show you clouds and sun and so forth. You can customize the day cycle, the night cycle, the sun angle, and so on and so forth. Uh, most people will not bother with this as they are using this tool just to design a stage but sometimes for dry fire mode and simulation mode it's pretty cool to see all these things react uh, makes, makes it look more realistic and more immersive you can also switch the weather very quickly and so let's say if I go back to the ground here you can see that there are a bunch of clouds they're slowly moving and as you can see they are reacting to the, your time and so if I want to change this to let's say uh, 5 o'clock in the evening so 1700 hours and now you see that the lighting has changed uh, to the evening time where the sun is beyond it's actually beyond somewhere down here beyond the clouds and you can see that the lighting has also changed uh, if you prefer to switch it to night time uh, you can do 2100 or whatever time at night and your uh, sky will react accordingly as well you can also switch the let's say let's go back to let's say uh, 16 1630 and I can choose weather too. Let's say if I want to make it rain, I can click on rain. And now the weather is switched to rain. Uh, you will also notice you see puddles. You see the floor and props will get wet. Uh, if I switch over to uh, the snow, you can see it starts snowing. Uh, for those of you who live in states that uh, have a lot of snow, you see that this is kind of kind of realistic as well. So if you were designing your stage for a match in the winter then you can also have your stage design look like this where everything's all white out uh, so i thought this this was uh, something really cool that you would uh, appreciate and then i can go back to clear skies uh, and then you see that you will slow the snow will slowly melt out and then becomes wet and then the wet will become dry and then i think go back to no all right, so, so that's it for the, the weather capabilities. Uh, for those of you who are designing stages for indoor matches, you can hit uh, go back to change sky here and then select your indoor settings. Uh, right now I have two different types of indoor settings. One is a bright uh, look and feel. Uh, it will just essentially change your backdrop here to make the lighting look like an indoor, very bright, uh, or you can choose a more subtle one, which is like, let's say in a warehouse. So 
those of you who do indoor matches, uh, the lighting hopefully will match uh, what you are interested in. So that's it for the Change Bay and Change Sky feature. Let's move on to the next module.